What's up guys, my name's Dan and welcome to The Vault. Today I'll be reviewing Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. This space opera for Marvel features the original cast, Chris Pratt, Bradley Cooper, Vin Diesel all return to reprise their roles and face off against a new threat. That threat coming in the form of a celestial being called Ego. This second instalment starts off with a bang with Baby Groot, who is sure to capture the heart of millions, dancing while chaos unfolds around him. This particular sequence was filmed in one shot to truly show the magnificence of what is going on. The previous cast returned with some fresh faces including Kurt Russell, Sylvester Stallone and a cameo from one of my personal favourites, Bing Rames. They just added something new to an ever-growing franchise. The original cast bring back the characters that made so many people fall in love with the first film, with a, a little more focus this time being on characters like Yondu and, and Nebula. They were just a, a nice little addition to the to the original original team. They seem like a more cohesive team this time round. However, there are fractures that that can be seen. Lots of familial uh, bickering that is sure to get a chuckle from you. One of the highlights was how much more character development we got from this second film. This was due primarily to the fact the writers focused on a story from the Guardians of the Galaxy universe rather than the bigger Infinity War storyline. I just felt that this made for a, for a much stronger story. And that's actually the strongest aspect of this film. Although extremely cheesy, the, the story is, is original and something kind of new. It allows us as, as an audience to just settle in and enjoy this universe and these characters. And for anyone that, that's read the comics, this is a nice homage to the comics. The comedy has also been bumped up a notch. This, this one made me laugh more than the first film did. And, and again, Dave Bautista steals the show with his brutally honest Drax. However, he is joined this time by a partner in crime, uh, Mantis, played by the beautiful Pom Clementif. Clementif? Clementif. Clement. Who is just as literal as Drax, although super cute. Every character, whether new or old, just added something fun and different to the film. The action sequences are, are bigger and more glamorous, as can be expected with more of the neon fun that was so prevalent in, in the first film. The soundtrack is another highlight, although it didn't really capture the smoothness and, and tongue-in-cheek feel of the first film soundtrack. Uh, this one felt a lot more sombre with a noticeable uh, tonal shift, which was a nice uh, surprising change. Having said all that, this film, like the first, didn't blow me away. Maybe it was the cheesiness or the predictability of it, or, or maybe it was the wooden dialogue or the unsubtle exposition that is just shoved down your throat. Uh, I don't know what it is, but Marvel seem to be able to make subpar films like this and people just eat it up. That's probably because Marvel have, have built their brand to be one that you know is going to entertain, which I can wholeheartedly respect. I don't want to sit here and, and bash this film. Uh, that's not me. It's enjoyable at least, and that's all I can really ask for. It's also really encouraging to see uh, James Gunn return to direct. He's a, a fan of the comics, so you know that they and its characters are going to be in, in safe hands. Overall, this is an entertaining film, uh, one that stays true to the universe that it has already set up, and one that portrays the message that family isn't always about blood. Family are the ones that will always have your back no matter what, and I think that's a totally sweet sentiment. Even sweeter if your dad turns out to be a, a celestial douchebag. But there we are. As always though guys, let's see if Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 belongs in the vault. What's up guys, welcome again back to the blackboard. Today we're going to be reviewing Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 and see if it has a place in the vault. Question number one. Was this film entertaining? Was I bored at any point whilst watching this film? This film uh, was uh, enjoyable, but I found myself kind of coming out of it uh, uh, mid-viewing experience. I found myself uh, bored in certain parts. Um, so for that reason, I'm going to give it a cross. Question number two, how was the music, direction, etc.? Did it make the viewing experience any better? Uh, this film was uh, much better with its story. The, the soundtrack, again, was you know, top-notch. Uh, 
Um, the, the comedy was, was bumped up uh, more. It was a much funnier film than the first one, uh, with a much stronger story than the first one. Um, so for that one, I'm going to give it a tick. Question number three, did the film elicit an emotional response that I empathise with the characters? Um, to a certain point, yes I did empathise with the characters. You, you could tell more so in the second film that they, the Guardians were more of a family, uh, still working through some issues, but they were, they were coming together as a more tighter, close-knit group. Uh, and obviously with the additions of Yondu and, and Nebula, that was a nice little, just a nice little touch. Um, so I did empathise with that whole family dynamic um, so for that, I'm going to give it a tick. Question number four, is this film worth the price of admission? I will say it is. It's, it's an enjoyable film. You know, it's, it's, it's by no means a, a terrible film. It just personally didn't blow me away. I actually went over to Norway and I watched this film there at a building called the Colosseum. So any, any Norwegian subscribers, you probably know better than I would, which was a nice experience to watch it in, some, in a different country. Um, but I would honestly say this film is worth the price of admission. It's generally just an enjoyable film uh, that anyone, whether you're a fan of the comics or you're not a fan of the comics, can go and enjoy. So for that, I'm going to give it a tick. Question number five. Would I suggest this film to my friends and you lovely subscribers? Again, uh, like with the first one, if someone came up and asked me would I suggest this film, I would probably say no, it didn't blow me away or amaze me, but you should go and make your own judgments. I also know people who aren't really into this whole superhero renaissance that we're having, so I would probably suggest for them to go and see a film that's more up their street or more their cup of tea. Um, anyone I know who is a fan of these films or the comics or Marvel in general, they will probably go and, and see it themselves anyway, anyway without me suggesting it. Um, but I probably wouldn't suggest it uh, to anyone, friends or, or family. Um, I, would, I would give my honest opinion if they asked, but I wouldn't suggest this film. I would suggest maybe another film. So I'm going to give that one a cross. That's three, right? That's three ticks. So there we have it, guys. It looks like Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 will be going into the vault. Uh, and as always, if you like what I'm doing here guys, you, you like what you see, please like and subscribe down below. And until the next video, peace and love my dudes.